Welcome back to Ixion. My name is Nilaus and I am your administrator of On the Tycoon on our final journey. It's uh, probably going to be the last one of the last episodes on this beautiful journey we've had. The things are culminating, the tycoon is falling apart and we are just trying to figure out what we can uh, do about the impending doom of the wrecked Piranesi. It's not shooting things at us yet, but uh, it does have a direct course towards the Remus and we definitely want to uh, avoid that from happening. Didn't he have one of those heading to Remus? Oh man, Di what? Didn't we send someone to Remus? I'm sure we sent someone to Remus. What the hell? You. Barjaville, you are heading to Remus. Thank you. Aren't you? Yeah, and Romulus, you are... Uh, no, you, we are at Romulus. We're working on this one. Constructor Syndicate site. We are still getting some stuff in here. And we need to get, oops, uh, the Barsherville going in here. I wonder what happened. I was sure that it was getting close. Oh, well. We are now arriving at Remus. Let's see what we can do there. Oh, really? They don't want to talk to us anymore. Huh. I guess that's because we've decided to, to settle on Romulus. Hmm. Well, that's weird. I was kind of anticipating that they would want to talk to us. Oh well, so if we decide to settle on Romulus, then Remus is no longer an option. That's interesting. Well, we'll pursue the Romulus uh, <laughs> culmination thing then. Then there's also no reason to do that. We might as well go to Vulcan instead, since that is a completely irrelevant location now. We have a contact again in the tech lab. Administrator Misara Koro have here from the scientific syndicate of sector one so good news and bad news the good news is that we have found a solution to permanently solve the piranesi problem now that we have finally reached the viable exoplanet the tycoon has no further purpose i mean that might be a bit of a stretch as such we propose the following while preparations are being made for colonization the tycoon sector should be filled with batteries once they are charged and the crew ready for exit a flight path will be plotted for the tycoon and crash into the Piranesi. According to our calculations and based off of the recent experiences within the PSR uh, system, uh, ignition of the stored energy should be enough to destroy the BMS warship. Now the bad news. Only you can command the tycoon system. If, if we were to disconnect you, you will have to be on board when the tycoon crashes. I'm sorry. Use the copy of Protagoras PA to direct. Oh yeah, we have a copy. We covered we got a copy from somewhere. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. The last stand. Sure. Then we can survive as well. All right. So we need to build a lot of batteries. Ah, oh, man. If only we had like a space that was almost perfectly designed to be filled up with batteries. That would be so awesome. I mean, that would be so cool if we could just... Oops. Build all of this with batteries in the easiest possible manner. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of batteries it is. It's floor space of batteries they are looking for, not uh, not, uh, not actually amount of the charge. So we will be building a lot of batteries here. We'll build the small ones. Oh, come on. Why did I misclick it again? It's so confusing this uh, the way. I'm going to blame the, the game on this. I'm not taking any responsibility for this thing here. Yeah, and these two are also done, so we can take you out, and we can take you out as well. And this thing as well. Right, so we will need to build all of this down here. That's going to be a lot of uh, building. I have two construction workshops that should help a bit with uh, the speeding this up. There, there, and there. Okay. And then once all of this is said and done, actually, we can do this as well and get one more. No, we can't because then you can't build this one. Right. So let's get all of this built. Go, go, go might even want to do well no we don't need to do that they're gonna go this way all right we have arrived at Vulcan let's figure out what we have here there are numerous electromagnetic disturbances on the surface of the comet Vulcan first visual uh, capture the comet's vibrant green tail this is the team of the Barjaville we have landed on Vulcan proximity analysis indicates the comet is shedding large amounts of boron 
Significant electromagnetic disturbances have also been detected. They appear to be similar in nature to those that were observed on the Rokatansky comet in the Emerson system. Let's study those. What could possibly go wrong? We now have all the shuttles completed and we are very close to completing the syndicate site. So let's figure out what that's, what's going to happen after we get the syndicate site uh, enabled. And we're also just slowly, slowly, slowly building batteries. We can build batteries everywhere, but we only need to build it. Well, we can also build it only there. Construct it. Oh, okay. Now there's another system we need to construct. Again, science is not a problem, so we don't really need to focus on that. The syndicate site is finished. Agricultural systems are operational. The infirmary is ready and stocked, and research labs have been set up with all the necessary equipment. We have completed more than half of the work required to successfully colonize Romulus. Damn, we're effective. Look at that. Construct the Ashton Guide site. Let's do that. And again, Pandora, you'll be doing the heavy lifting. I wonder why Pandora is uh, the cargo ship that can be bringing stuff in without a 70% chance of exploding. We could use some of our new ones, but eh, don't ask. All right, let's see what kind of electromagnetic signals we are getting here. We ventured down into the crevices of Vulcan, seeking the source of the electromagnetic disturbances. Entered a small cave full of luminescent boron crystals. We stopped to take readings. Results seemed to vary. Proceeding further in, we found a large floating gray sphere, similar to the one we found on the Ein we found by the Einstein's crew. After liaison with the Tycoon's scientific community, a number of controversial theories have been put forward and proposals made to possibly experiment uh, that might be attempted on the sphere. Debate continues. We've continued. A we've I've noticed a growing fascination of the sphere among the other expedition members. This is absurd since it's obviously only for me. What? Oh, right. It's someone. Ugh. Hmm. Allow the stream free reign. Yeah, well... I think we'll do that experimentation. Based on the previous interactions on Rokatansky, scientists on Tycoon have proposed a number of theoretical experiments that could be conducted on the spheres. Let's do those. If they have theories from previous experience, that's a good place to start. Instead of just let them go uh, crazy and smash things as they want. Alright, let's back to Vulcan, see what's going on there. This is the crew of the Einstein. I don't know how you managed it, Administrator, but we have returned. We've been with the Einstein existing in ways that seem inconceivable to us now. Uh, passing through strange solid, liquid and gaseous lands, matter behaved in a pattern outside of our accepted understanding. Time was not linear, days were lived where the chronology of action was not the same for every member of the team. We drifted in the Frausian morass, la lost? Till we were extricated by the Barcheville team. Our ship is now in the orbit of Vulcan. Nice, we got a free science ship. Well, technically we have paid for it, but uh, uh, that means we actually, since this one is... Wait. Oh, right. It's probably because it's not assigned to any location now. Mm, well, let's uh, assign it to a location here. Ooh, uh, do we really need you here? Uh, no. Let's dis let's disband you and get the Einstein back in here. Sweet. And then we should be able to send the Einstein all the way over to Lupercal. And the Barsheville is also done, so you can go to Aventine. Great. So we can hopefully discover whatever these are while we build the rest of the batteries. Interesting. Wonder where they went. The Frausian Morass. Alright, let's start on uh, the exploration of the other two planets in this sector. Preliminary data contains many inconsistencies. Aventine emits large amounts of particles that are not supposed to be detached from the atomic structure. Although these emissions do not appear to pose any physical danger to the scientific team, theorized uh, psychological impacts range from the unknown to the disastrous. Dollar security protocols recommend extreme caution. We have landed on the planet. A powdery layer of yellow sulfur covers Aventine. It falls into the many crevices strewn across the planet's surface. The interior of the hollow planet is revealed through these fissures, which offer a spectacular view down to Aventine's core. It is unlike anything we've seen. Telluric pillars support the planet's surface, reaching up out of the central, perfectly spherical core. Like metallic seed, it seems to absorb the rain powdered sulfur that falls down into the crevice. Okay, study it with extra skeleton or studies. We'll take the surface first and then just see if if that's uh, 
somewhat safe. We're also very close to uh, building our location here and uh, we're just waiting for this one. It's coming in soon. In the meantime, we can check up on our battery production. It is almost there. I can actually just build these two and then we should be good to go. But I want this whole area cleared because that's where I reserved some space for it. So let's make that space here. And let's see what Lupacal has for offer for us. A scan analysis of Lupacal has provided some unusual data. Um, the planet is home to numerous anomalies and high levels of carbon allotropes. Lupacal's atmosphere is very thin and toxic. Visible particles hang suspended within it and move in the light winds of the planet. Impressive vast quantities of diamond encrust Lupacal's surface. The thin atmosphere will provide little protection. We've chosen a study location that rarely experiences direct exposure to Ilya at the start of the system. Any increase in Lupacal's surface temperature could jeopardize the team's safety. Ugh. Okay, so that's... Okay, so it definitely says like any any increase in Lubakal surface temperature. That seems small one, a small team. Uh, it's basic quick with tools and sample extraction, and let's let's do the right one. Let's do that one. Like, come on, Pandora, stand by. You you can start doing that. You are. Uh, we're gonna do a proper scientific exp expedition if we have the opportunity. Also, Romulus, you're ready. All right, construction of the Aston Guide site has been completed. A multi-factory will allow us to transform the raw materials of Romulus into stable resources. The vehicle, storage bay, and technical maintenance rooms are operational. The first human city of Romulus has just been born. The crew of the Medusa will leave the Romulus. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we are happy? Are they... Hmm... Oh, we do need... I think it's the battery thing that means that we are not starting the colonization until the batteries are actually uh, ready and filled up. So we are going to continue on the battery making here. And the Aventine, let's have a look at what happens there. Analysis indicates that the mass-defining particles that con constitute the matter of Aventine process possesses an altered state. The surface of the planet contains many isotopes previously thought impossible. Many of our theoretical models have been called into question following the discoveries made on Aventine. Unfortunately, the planet's surface is extremely friable, uh, making any longer exp exploration attempts unviable. All right. Okay, it says making any longer unviable. Okay, it said that there is unviable. On the other hand, we have nothing else to do, so we'll, uh, we'll in the name of science, we sacrifice them. They have exoskeletons. They'll be fine. We've also decided, or I've decided, <laughs> we have decided to move over to Remus just to see if there's something happens when we get there. Like, for some reason, they shut off connection with us if, uh, because, I don't know why, but they did. We have arrived at Remus. Don't know if that triggers anything or if it's just coming over here and just saying hi. Look at that beautiful planet. Why didn't we... Oh, right, we can't... Hmm... We're not allowed to stay there because that's the Ashton, Ashton Guides and for some reason because we disabled the Eden, the Ashton Guides don't want to talk to us anymore. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, they're still on this planet and even if we don't want to live with them, then wouldn't that be okay for us to just come say hi and we can live happily ever after together in harmony, I suppose? Hmm. Well, that's weird. It's weird that they sort of suddenly went completely quiet. We got enough batteries uh, available and we just need to charge them now. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to build all of this. I was like, kind of hoping that I would build all of this. Science ship has completed. Uh, it's actually not Amazon filling the void. Let's do that while recharging the batteries. The team of the Bosheville had great difficulty establishing a study pro protocol for the planet's core. After multiple attempts, uh, conclusions indicate that the huge central Sphere interacts with elementary particles, including boron, bosons, and Frau's tachyons, in selective and unpredictable manner. Ten previously unknown elementary particles have been identified. Data from the Aventide core analysis will pave the way for new scientific and technological models for years to come. See, it was worth throwing them in there. And now they leave the planet. Sweet. Well, um, which one was that? This was the Bosheville? Yeah, Bosheville, you come over here and steal the last science out of Remus. 
Doesn't look like we can uh, do much. Charge the batteries. It's stuck at 99%. I guess we'll get that at some point. Uh, don't think there's any reason for us to hang around in, at, around Remus when nothing happens. So we'll just go back to Romulus since that's where we have decided to do our colonization attempt at. Right, let's see what we can get up here. Large quantities of data have been sent by the team on Lopakal. They have manifested a, the presence of Frau's tachyons on the planet, and their reports contain a great excitement about potential new discoveries, vol jump theories, and Frau's work on matter undulation. However, we have received a concerning message from the infrastructure dedicated PA warning that the team's behavior is becoming unusual. Dollar security protocols recommend an immediate conclusion to the mission. I mean, they're. They. they mm. They might find some good things. Yeah. Okay, so we are now... Uh, I, I powered up all my nuclear power plants to the absolute maximum. Uh, which is a, probably a pretty stupid idea now that I think of it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty stupid idea. I'm just going to power them down again. Whoops. Because uh, I'm actually somehow running out of hydrogen here. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, we're running out of... Well, we're not kind of... Not really running out of hydrogen. But it's just that the batteries is at 99%. So that is going to be very close to triggering that part. Once we get that, we also need to get the Lubacal. We want to make sure that they get their maximum potential energy out of this. So let's wait for the batteries to charge. Very close. And there it is. Fly the Tacoon into the Piranesi via planetary system map. But, but... Hold on. If I... If I... What? If I do that, then I have 5,000 people on board. Uh, shouldn't we be leaving them off the planet before we do that? That seems... Well, let's see what they are coming up with. They're probably very, very dead. So uh, let's see what happens here. At some point within its lifespan, Lubakal was exposed to a strong gravitational and electromagnetic forces, as well as nuclear radiation. The team has put forward two explanatory theories. The first identifies Ilya's transformation into a white dwarf as the cause of the exposure. The second derives from the works of Frauz and Bajaville. It posits that the existence of one or more entities within self-similar space, entities that could or may interact with our material plane, would result in aberrations in the fundamental forces of nature. On the cusp of true discovery, the team has requested further time to be investigated uh, the studies. Yeah. Well, I guess. I guess. We'll wait three more turns for that to happen. But I'm just really puzzled about if I fly this into you, 2.8 cycles, well, what about all the people on board the ship? Shouldn't they be... Hmm... Should, shouldn't I be jumping out before that happens? I think that would be a good idea. Either way, I'll wait for this one and then we'll uh, send it, the tycoon, to its final destination. Here we are. Let's see what's going on. We are re no longer receiving transmissions from the Einstein team. Behavioral analysis uh, of their final communication have identified signs of unhealthy fascination and self-destructive tendencies. Before enacting what they refer to as the descent to other gods, the team transmitted the final packet of study data. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty absurd. 550 signs. Uh, but we lost everyone. Yeah, it's fine. Repatriate the Einstein. It can fly back by itself. 500! Okay, I, I, that's pretty crazy. So that probably means you can get all the signs available. Like, that, that's that's definitely going to be enough to... I don't know if definitely, but it seems like it's enough for everything. Like, there are some that I haven't taken, like the Observatory and the Hall Temple. They just give stability, but they don't do anything. Same with Legislative. We haven't had any issues. I'd rather have the Exoskeleton... Exo Fighting Dome with this gives plus four uh, happiness. I think that's pretty damn valuable. Right, so now it is the time to... Uh, Sent the Tycoon into the Piranesi. Maybe it triggers. Maybe it needs 2.7 cycles to trigger. Let's have a look. It triggered. Administrator, if you are listening to this message, it means the Tycoon has reached its destination, despite the unpredictable parameters that framed the equation of its journey. The crew have found a new home, whether the one planned for 
or another. These survivors have already begun to lay the foundations of a new cradle, where creativity, invention, and joy can bloom again. Perhaps you already understand why I insisted, why the mission launch was precipitated. When I discovered that the lunaclism was inevitable, I also understood that any attempt to save our species after this would have been doomed to fail. You took the helm in the only launch window available to us. Thanks to you, our efforts, our mistakes, our sins and sacrifices will sink into oblivion, into the past, while the first pages are written for a newly born humanity. Thank you very much everyone for following this uh, let's play all the way to the end it has been an absolutely amazing journey i think this is the biggest surprise game for me of 2022 and what a way to end that year there's been a lot of good games this year but i think that ixian has really blown me away amazing story the depth of the uh, of the designs and just the richness of the story and the graphics and the whole thing has just been an absolute joy to play. So I really uh, am appreciating the fact that I could stream this on Twitch and play it here on YouTube as well for you. Uh, I will be making one short extra episode where we pursue the other ending, where we uh, don't sort of uh, forget about Remus, but where we focus the Remus part instead of the Romulus. So uh, with that, thank you very much everyone for joining. This has been super amazing. Uh, if you want to support the channel, then uh, well, the usual likes and stuff, uh, likes and shares, but of course there's also the opportunity to go a little bit further and uh, go with support the channel through Patreon. I have a Patreon channel and that is kind of how I run this channel uh, for the majority. So thank you very much to everyone who is uh, supporting there. I will be uh, seeing you in some other episodes, some other videos uh, coming soon. So stay tuned to the channel and see what's next. Until next time, take care and as always, stay effective. <laughs>